Hello viewers, welcome to my channel ITJ Olympiads and AP Physics with Ambarish. And uh, today I have brought a, a problem on uh, second law of thermodynamics. As of, all of you might be knowing that from next year onwards, uh, second law of thermodynamics has been added to JE advanced syllabus. So I thought I will do something uh, related to second law. Uh, this is a problem on entropy. Of course, entropy is not directly in uh, JE advanced syllabus mentioned, but uh, in JE main we already have. Uh, a question on entropy has been asked earlier so that's why and i'm expecting that uh, in future lot more problems you'll be seeing in various test series uh, some complicated problems on second law so i decided to do this problem and uh, without much ado let me straight away get into the problem now so here's the problem okay uh, an ideal gas with adiabatic exponent gamma goes through a process p is equal to p naught minus alpha v where P0 and alpha are positive constants and V is the volume. At what volume will the gas entropy have the maximum value? Okay, so this is the problem. This is erode of 2.138 and if you want you can give it a try. I'll get into my analysis straight away. Let's see. So first of all, what's the definition of entropy? Uh, you might have studied in your chemistry lectures also. Uh, so for any process entropy is given by integration of dq by t reversible okay so this is the change in entropy absolute entropy does not matter very often we are interested only in change in entropy which is absolute uh, and uh, base entropy you can assume anywhere uh, to be zero so this is your delta s is dq by t reversible okay so remember that even if the process is irreversible entropy change always has to be found by considering a reversible process between the initial state and the final state even if the process is irreversible this is important i'll try to take it up in some other video so now for ideal gas what can you write for dq dq is nothing but du plus dw so entropy change becomes integration of du by t plus integration of dw by t and uh, what is du so uh, if f is the degrees of freedom, you know that uh, internal energy is simply nf by 2 rt, right? n moles, f is the degrees of freedom and rt, our gas constant, t is the temperature. So, du is nothing but nf by 2 r dt, okay? So, this I have written for uh, du, okay? So, nf by 2 r dt is du and dw is pdv, okay? And pdv uh, and p upon t can be written as nr upon v, okay? So, now this integration will get simplified dt by t it will go into a log and dv by v will also go into a log so what do we have for entropy so if you just integrate this you will get uh, you can take nr common outside and it becomes f by 2 log of t plus log of v and plus some arbitrary constant which depends on where you assume the entropy to be zero okay so this is your entropy as a function of temperature and uh, volume so but i want to maximize this entropy so the derivative of entropy must be zero right for maximum entropy the derivative must be zero so i what i do i just differentiate this whole thing with respect to v so what do i get see uh, so uh, constant derivative is zero and uh, the, the derivative of this will be f by 2t into dt by dv and derivative of this will be 1 by v and nr is anyway uh, if you divide uh, on the right hand side 0 divided by nr will also be 0. So this is what you have if your ds by dv is 0. Now I can use my relationship you know that p is given as p0 minus alpha v so uh, so using pv is equal to nrt I can say p0 minus alpha v into v is equal to nrt okay. Now once again you take the log of this equation and differentiate with respect to v. Why I am taking the log because right hand side is log of nr whose derivative will be 0 and log of t derivative will be 1 by t dt by dv because I am interested in getting 1 by t dt by dv over here. So that's why I am taking log and differentiating. So if you take log and differentiate so there, uh, this log of p0 minus alpha v its derivative will be 1 upon p0 minus alpha v into minus alpha and the log of v derivative will be simply 1 by v with respect to volume okay and the log of t derivative will be 1 by t dt by dv and log of nr derivative is of course 0. So this is what you get for 1 by t dt by dv and now what you can do you can just substitute the right hand side for 1 by t dt by dv over here and solve for volume. And if you do that, you get volume in terms of degrees of freedom as P0 into 2 plus F divided by 2 alpha into 1 plus F. And of course, you know the relationship between the degrees of freedom and gamma. Degrees of freedom is 2 upon gamma minus 1. So you can substitute that and again simplify. 
and if you do that you get uh, volume for maximum entropy as p naught gamma upon alpha into 1 plus gamma okay so that was my analysis for this problem root of 2.138 uh, hope you like the analysis and if you like the analysis please do give a thumbs up to my video please uh, share this video as much as possible with your friends through telegram whatsapp discord or whatever medium you use for networking with them and most importantly if you're not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel because that what that's what keeps me motivated to do a new video almost every day and thanks a lot for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one and as always god bless you all thank you